addition to having students participate in discussion boards where they one reflect on the content and also reflect on their own learning practices the more meaningful way that students engage in community being is through a group project so the group project here is an authentic online learning project which allows students to tackle a real world um, situation where they have to collaborate on different parts. This project is broken up into four parts. Students must collaborate within the groups via email and Google Docs, but students also are allowed to um, communicate both synchronously, synchronously and asynchronously using Blackboard Collaborate. So in Blackboard Collaborate, I offer this session here for students to either one, meet with me, for any other projects, meet with their groups individually. So if a group requests time to use Blackboard Collaborate, I will open up the time, um, reserve the room for them, go in there, get the group started, and then leave the room. So this creates an online environment where students can synchronously collaborate and work on a real-world group project in an online environment. In addition to this kind of real innovative student engagement and community building, students also have to complete a collaboration and participation evaluation. This is where they evaluate themselves and their con contribution to their group project. Um, these things are, um, the scores from these evaluations are built into the group project rubrics for each section. In USN 250, I communicate with students in a variety of ways. The first and most often communication is through bi-weekly announcements in which I first post the weekly announcements and then I also give instructions about how to actually complete the assignments for the week and then I also post when grades are posted and give some general feedback. But in addition to this kind of general communication, the most innovative part about my course is when I use detailed rubrics. So for each portion, of the group project, which is four parts, and each each unit project, students have detailed rubrics in which they're given feedback on their progress. So for this, for example, this one here is for a PowerPoint project. So I, one, use rubrics for to, um, to communicate expectations to students and then also to serve as a way to give meaningful feedback. They also have rubrics for each of their group project sessions. Um, in addition to the unit projects and the group projects, the SAM website also creates detailed rubrics for each student. So a student can quickly see through the SAM website what they got correct, what they got incorrect, and be able to click here and play back on the training and relearn anything that they didn't. So this is a meaningful way that students can um, communicate with each other and I can communicate with my students. Um, the last one here is the peer evaluation system, which I talked about in the last part, in which students must communicate with each other and communicate with me on how they are performing on their group project and how everyone else contributed to their groups. In BUSN 250, students have a real good mix of different learning activities. The first one they use is through their SAM website. So the SAM training here allows students to go through each section of the required material and then they will one, first observe what's going on and using visual, auditory, and written tutorials. Then they'll practice it step by step and then they'll apply it in their own ways. So the system here allows them to read the text if needed instructions. Um, hear it auditory, and then also um, see it as the computer shows, demonstrates how to do it. In addition to using the SAM website, I also have group project, um, unit projects in which, like here, students need to complete projects that are outside of this simulated environment. So for Word project, they would have to go to consider the zero turn portion in your textbook and complete those things and this requires them to apply their SAM skills to open-ended situations in which they're needed to create content related to the skills they learned. In addition to your unit projects, I also have a group project here which is broken up into four parts where students need to in groups collaborate and do research on what are effective surveys, develop a Microsoft Word survey, collect data and PowerPoint to address this business scenario here. So Students are now applying their skills they learn through SAM and through the unit projects to a real-world, authentic online, online learning situation where they have to think critically and problem-solve 
in order to produce um, something very unique at the end. Um, in addition to all of this, we also I also have discussion board postings here in which students, oh, let me find discussion boards, where students actually go in there and post how their learning experiences have been, what are best practices that they have done, and how they can share that with their classmates to improve their, their performance on future projects. In BUSN 250, um, students are assessed in a variety of ways. The first way they are assessed is through their training. Now in the SAM training on the website here, they are allowed to observe, practice, and apply. And this uh, achievement of these things here kind of serve as a formative assessment to see how students are interacting with the material. In addition to that, they have an exam after each chapter in which they do not have this observe and practice and have to apply what they learn. This also serves as a summative assessment. Now, in, in addition to this kind of simulated assessments, the group project, uh, the unit projects also have individual rubrics where students are provide meaningful feedback on their progress based on the skills that they should have had. And again, these rubrics are provided to the students before the actual, um, before well, when the project is assigned, and then they know, so they know what is, what is expected. Um, this is also for the group project here too. So the group project which requires them to solve something that's a real world problem, I have these rubrics already clearly stated and I provide these in each student's individual Dropbox for each part of the group project as they go through it. Now, the SAM website, as well as the, all these other rubrics here, provide immediate um, feedback to students to communi clearly communicate their expectations and outcomes in addition to how they're doing and how they can improve. Um, for SAM projects, this is instantly available to students. For these rubrics here, I usually I send them typically two to three days after the due date has passed in order to give them feedback before they move on to the next portion of the course material. Hi, in Buzin 250, I created a variety of learner support materials that can be found in resources on our Laulima site. So the first one here is a tutorial on how to complete assignments on SAM. So what I did here is I created different screenshots with instructions on how to properly create, uh, properly complete training and exams on our SAM website. In addition to that, I have created a Camtasia video, as you can see posted here, for students who had difficulty um, in a different, in a certain unit that they always had trouble um, completing. I also have links to YouTube videos here where Blackboard Collaborate. Since Blackboard Collaborate is a tool I use to engage students and allow them to engage with, with each other, it's important that we prov I provide them some amount of training. So these are links to different YouTube videos that actually are great at um, showing students how to use Blackboard. Um, in addition to the Blackboard training, I also have in here the Lalima student guide. So if students ever need to figure out how to use one of the tools on Lalima, they can go st straight to the student guide here. Um, in addition to all of those things that I've created, uh, the SAM website also does provide these trainings that are always available to students. I purposely make them always available so that they can have access to this and relearn any material that they need to at any time. Mm -hmm.